Hello, this is Dave from Approved Sheet Metal, and I am back with another SolidWorks Tech Tip video. This video is a pretty important one because it's one of the most common design challenges we see as a sheet metal manufacturer, and that challenge is features too close to bends. So I got a simple part here up on the screen. If you see, got this square cutout here in a hole, and the hole's right on the bend, and the cutout's just a little bit away from the bend line. So the challenge with this is when we try to bend this, these features are going to deform and stretch and probably not be functional for whatever it is a design needs these features for. So there's a couple of options to mitigate this, and one of which, at least for the square cutout, would be to cut it around the bend like this so that it allows the material to come over and the feature looks okay. The challenge with this is that whatever you're putting into that cutout it's not going to function the same way, and, and it's not a, a common uh, option for most of our uh, customers. The other option is to just move the features away from the bends, right? And when you're designing your parts, you take this into account when you're designing it. And you want to make sure that the edge of the feature and the edge of the bend right here are three to four times the material thickness apart. That is very important. Then I make sure that the features are not going to pull into form and they'll function and they'll look they'll look aesthetically pleasing. The other option, at least for holes, is to undersize the hole and then drill it out after forming. Or on the cutout, you basically cut the feature in half and then after forming you machine the rest of it out. Doing those types of things will add lead time and cost. But it's an option in case you know you have no choice and you have to have you design this way. Now this rule is not just limited to cutouts. It's limited. It can include embossments, louvers, other punched form features, and so on. Any feature that is near a bend has to have a minimum distance between the feature and the bend, or it's just not going to form properly. I hope this tip was helpful. If you have any questions, please email us at engineering@approvedsheetmetal.com or visit our website.